So on Friday, Wayne uh, presented in chapel on participating in the divine nature uh, of God that we see in 2 Peter 1. And uh, so in that, he talked about a little bit about the created order uh, of God and how God ordered his world. Uh, Wayne, do you just want to recap a little bit about, about what you talked about on Friday? Yeah, essentially, when we look at the way that God organized the world, he really started out with a specific plan to have everything uh, that he creates reflect his character. And the challenge for us is we often want to create our own concept of what it means to really be a person, to be alive. And the beautiful thing is that no matter how much we go over here and we live for our own purpose and pleasure, that never destroys the character or the nature of God. And so the, the gospel, the good news about this is that God's plan through Jesus is to invite us into this relationship where we're really living out his character and his divine nature. However, he gives us that free will to live uh, sometimes in opposition, sometimes we're negligent. We just don't recognize that there's areas of our life that we're really living uh, according to God's character or against God's character. And so the, the kind of the design of this, the reason we wanted to talk about this is as we're now kind of as the, as the Bible verse talks about in the theme, um, as we're now here, let's make every effort to add to our faith the goodness, the godliness, the brotherly kindness. But in order to do that, I think we need to stop and pause and ask ourselves, are we living in a, in a place of submission to the character of God, that we're really living in accordance to the divine nature of God? And there's good news in this. You can never break it. Mm -hmm. God's character yeah. is there. It's offered to us through the blood of Christ, that even in our brokenness and sin, we can come here and live in his character and his, in his nature. But oftentimes we need to reorient ourselves. And that's what we want to do today here on Monday. So today, what we want you to do is just take some time to reflect. What are the reasons why you came to Hillcrest? Why are you here? Why do you feel like God has you here this year? Um, who are you surrounding yourself with? Who is speaking into your, into your life? What kind of uh, friends are you uh, surrounding yourself with? Um, what are the advertisements that you, um, that you don't even maybe even realize are speaking a specific uh, worldview to you that you are just kind of passively accepting? Just what are those things that, uh, what are the voices that you are allowing into your head? Um, whether they're human voices or whether they're the world voices just from a, um, a, a cultural perspective. And then ultimately, where are we going from here? What do we want um, as we think about this being the very beginning of the year, we have a lot of time to work with, but I, I say a lot of time, but that time will move quickly. And, and so we don't want to get to, to April and May and look back and think, oh, I wish I would have. No, let's think about that today. So uh, in your time, uh, we'll be handing you a document today uh, as, you, um, as you leave your second hour class and head out to the front lawn and, uh, and, and just time to reflect on where do we go from here? Where do I go from here? What kind of actions do I need to take? What kind of conversations do I, do I need to have either with my friends uh, or with an adult in, uh, within the school, um, with a family member to um, just reorient um, back to God's, God's order? I think the big thing for us that we're gonna do today too is really looking at, like I ended chapel, at these five L's. And so we're gonna look at um, in your packet, it's going to talk about your loves, your longings, your loyalties, your labors, and your liturgies. Your liturgies are really what are the habits that you find yourself doing. What we're going to do is really look at what are the things in my reality right now that I find are my loves, that are my longings. Those will be explained for you in the packet. And then to close out the time, you're going to have a time of looking now kind of where do I want to be? So where do I want my loves to be? Where do I want my longings to go towards? And then you're going to have a chance to kind of identify what are the steps I'm going to take to get there. We want you to share this with an adult. So maybe it's your family group leader, maybe it's a teacher. Um, but we really want you to kind of talk about these things. You're going to take this packet that you're working on today. You're going to put it in an envelope. You're going to seal it. And then we're going to look at it again in March. And we're going to kind of talk through and do an assessment throughout the course of my year. Have I grown? And in March, if you haven't, if you haven't gotten to the places that you'd like to, that you're identifying now when you're first here at Hillcrest, you haven't gotten to those places by March, 
You'll have a couple months to really work on that and to hone it. Or maybe you are there in March and you're saying, man, I did it. The Lord's done a great work in my life. He's organized and oriented my heart to him through my time here. And so maybe that's going to be a chance for us to celebrate with you. Yeah. Um, but you need to tell, an, we really want you to tell an adult. Tell somebody that's a mentor, somebody that kind of loves on you, whether it's Don, um, myself, Principal Isaac, President Hoganson, a teacher, maybe it's a dean. Um, we just really think it's important for you to share some of these things that God is bringing to you uh, for you to grow in during your time here at Hillcrest.